Hi, welcome to the 18th session on SAP CRM technical training. In last four sessions, we have talked about the general layer, which is one of the important layers within the framework. Now we would talk about more important layer, which is bowl. So understanding bowl layer is more important because the programming which we do within the presentation layer is bowl programming. So whatever you do in terms of writing code within the UI layer or within the component workbench is mostly bowl programming. So let's look at so look so let's look at this layer in detail. So let's revisit the architectural diagram. So here you see the framework architecture diagram again. So in this bowl stands between general layer and the UA framework. So when you say that it stands between the UA framework and general layer, so UA framework is basically based upon BSPs. So the presentation layer, whatever you see, is basically based on BSPs. So business object layer is between your BSPs and the general layer. So what functionality does it provide being between these two layers is it provides us the consistent way of calling the general layer methods. So here when we talk about general layer, general layer is wrapping around the API layer. So to call any API methods, you need to go through bowl and general. So when you try to call the bowl methods, the calling of bowl methods is uniform in the sense you don't need to worry about on which object you are calling that particular method. So that's the beauty of bowl layer. We can say that it is the best friend for us because it provides us unique framework where we can call any method on any object without worrying about the API call. Moreover, it also provides us the functionality of transaction context, then the buffering, and also it manages the object model at runtime. So this way it clearly separates the business logic from the presentation logic. So let's go ahead. So what is bowl layer? Bowl layer is the one which connects your presentation layer to the general object model and it can also be termed as the consumer of the general components. So as we had discussed there might be multiple consumers and one of them is the bowl model browser which we have seen. Likewise the bowl layer is one of the consumer which uses the general object model. And when we talk about the UA components in the UA component workbench when we saw the context nodes. So we will be able to add model nodes using these bowl objects. So the model nodes are also sometimes referred as bowl nodes because of the fact that they are created from the bowl entities. So basically when we try to create the model node you need to give the underlying business object name from which you are going to create that particular model node. And when we talk about the bowl programming it provides us an uniformity in accessing any general object. So it doesn't matter whether you are working with order or a business partner, the code which we do will be same. And apart from this, when we try to understand what is this bowl exactly, it's a collection of classes which are standard provided by the framework. Like you hear about classes like CLCRM bowl core, CLCRM bowl entity, CLCRM bowl query service, CLCRM bowl dquery service, so on. So all these classes combined form the bowl layer but you do not see anything as such concrete within the bowl layer it's all standard classes the bowl layer is majorly acting in the runtime for storing the data so bowl layer can be termed as a runtime layer where we store the data which is buffered and these bowl buffers use bowl entity which is nothing but an object of type clcrm bowl entity which is used to store a particular record. So when we talk about bowl entity, we can refer it to as a record in the database table. And to compare the entity type, you can compare it with the table. So whatever entities you see or whatever business objects you see in general layer are all entity types which can be referred to the DB tables in terms of normal programming. And 
the entities which we create at runtime can be compared with the records. So entity type will only give you the metadata, which means it will only give you the structure. Like in SC11, when you open a table, you only see the structure of the table. But the actual records you will be able to see in SC16. Likewise, here when we talk about the entity type, it is giving us a structure and entities are the runtime objects of CLCRM bowl entity which is stored in the buffer of the bowl layer. So basically bowl works with the data at runtime. Whatever data which is changed in the user interface by the user will be first sent to the bowl. Once the bowl is updated with the changed data, then it will send to the genil and then further to the APIs. So that's the flow which happens. So any changes you do in the user interface are first sent to the bowl. And that is taken care by the context nodes which we create in the UA component. So I am opening SE24. Let's have a look at the class. So CL underscore CRM underscore bowl underscore core. This is the class name. So here you see the class. So let's start from the properties tab. So in properties tab, you see a description and you see the instantiation. So the instantiation of this class is private. Since it is private, this class cannot be instantiated from anywhere else. It can be only instantiated within this class. So the instantiation will decide whether this class can be instantiated from outside or not. So if you see the instantiation values which it can have, we have private, protected, public and abstract. Abstract means it cannot be instantiated from anywhere. Whereas public, it can be instantiated from anywhere. And protected, it can be instantiated within the class and in the subclasses whereas private it can be instantiated only within the same class so let's go to the interfaces tab so if you see the interfaces you see few interfaces over here which are used for internal communication and conditional breakpoints and also an interface which is for boolean values let's go to the friends tab so here you see a class called clcrm bold performance count so since this class is a friend class, it will also have the access to the private variables of this class. Then coming to the attribute section. So here you see, we have an attribute called self, which is pointing to the same class, CLCRM bowl core. So which specifies that this is the variable which is storing the instance of itself. So if you see, self is a static attribute and it's a private attribute and it can store an object of type CLCRM bowl core. So here self is used to store the instance of CLCRM bowl core itself. And since it is a static attribute, it's the same copy every object of this type will share. Apart from that, we also have generic underscore IL, which is referring to CLCRM generic IL new, which is the general core. So generic underscore IL is referring to the general core class which is the class which is responsible for routing the request to the right API. Then we have entity manager which is of type CLCRM bowl entity manager which manages all the entities within the runtime. Then we have object underscore model which will store the complete object model of genil at the runtime. So this will get filled with the genil object model which is filled at the runtime based on the component set we give at the UI component level. Then we have a global message container which is of type CLCRM general message container. So this message container will contain all the messages which we show on the UI. Then we have transaction manager TX underscore manager. So this transaction manager is basically to manage all the transactions which happen on the bowl. So these are the important attributes you need to understand within the bowl core. Then let's go to the methods. So here you would find a method called get underscore instance. So this get underscore instance is a static method again and it returns the bowl instance, which means it will return the instance of the bowl core. 
so here you can see the code within this get instance so here the code is written in such a way that if self is not bound then create the object otherwise return the object which is already existing and if you remember this is the class which was declared as a friend class so in case there is a performance counting requested then the object which is created is of type CLCRM bold core performance count that's the reason it has been declared as the friend of this class so that it will have the access to all the private variables of this class